This is a scallop. Scallops are blind shellfish animals that... Wait a sec. That's not right. Scallops aren't blind. They have eyes. Take a look at the front edge of this scallop. Underwater. Do you see those blue circles? Those are eyes. Scallops can have up to 200 eyes that cover their outer edge. They use those eyes while they sit motionless on the ocean floor. <gasps> what? Did you see that? The scallop moved. I always forget that. Scallops can swim. But how? Ah, it all works like this. When a scallop opens its shell, it sucks water into its body. Then it can shoot that water back out, like a little jet. Whichever way the scallop shoots the water will push it in the opposite direction. And that's how scallops move around. But what's going on here? Why do these shells look so odd? This isn't a scallop. It's a mussel with a bunch of holes in it. I found this while exploring the Geyer Collections and Research Center in Cincinnati. There are tons of them, but what were they used for? Ah, interesting. The answer is in this drawer. Hmm, the tray has a bunch of mussels with holes in them like the other. But what's over here? A small box of tiny buttons. These buttons are shiny, just like the mussels. Huh. In the 1900s, people would harvest mussels from rivers, punch tiny holes in them, and use the punched out pieces to make shiny buttons. It would be hard to make a button out of a sea urchin. But I always wondered, how do sea urchins move? Because you might not expect it, but they move around a lot. Just look here. They're zooming around the sand. But how do they move? Ah, okay. Take a look at this sea urchin without its spines. This is a sea urchin's shell. Let's look at it up close. See those big bumps on the sea urchin's surface? The urchin's spines attach at these bumps. But there are other markings here too. Huh, they're small dots that are actually tiny holes. These holes form lines down the side of the sea urchin. Well, what are these for? Well, take a look at this sea urchin underwater. Notice anything strange? A bunch of small tubes. They're wiggling around like crazy. I'll tell you how this all comes together. But first, these videos take a lot of work to put together. So it'd mean a whole lot to me if you sat through this short segment about this video's sponsor, Factor. Uh-oh, I'm hungry. What's this? A factor meal. Watch 
closely. Now, I have a delicious meal to eat. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals directly to your doorstep that are ready in just two minutes. They have dinners, breakfasts, and each week you get to choose between over 34 different meals. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code oddanimal50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. What was I wondering again? Oh yeah. What are these wiggly tubes on a sea urchin? Well, those tubes are attached to the sea urchin at those tiny holes. Sea urchins use those tubes to scoot themselves across the sea floor, just like starfish. Sea urchins can move. They have little tube feet, and on their underside, they even have mouths with teeth that they use to eat. What types of things do they eat with strange teeth like this? If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. But this made me wonder, do sand dollars eat? Are they even animals? What is a sand dollar? Hmm, take a look at the surface of a sand dollar. Up close, when it's alive. It seems to be covered in a bunch of tiny spines that are moving around. Now take a look at this time lapse of sand dollars underwater. They're moving around. So sand dollars aren't rocks. They're animals. Which makes me wonder, how do they eat? Okay, I got it. To find our answer, let's flip this sand dollar over. Do you see those grooves on the sand dollar's underside? These grooves are lined with more tiny tubes. As the sand dollar moves across the ocean floor, these groove tubes snatch food particles, like plankton or algae, and pass them down the grooves towards this hole. This tiny hole is the sand dollar's mouth. Wait a second. It looks like there's something in there. Let's try and get it out. Here's a sand dollar that's cracked down the middle. Let's see if we can pull out whatever's inside. What is this? It's kind of triangular shaped, and if you look real close, it has a sharp tip. This is a tooth. Each sand dollar has five giant teeth that it uses to eat, which makes me wonder, do starfish have teeth? To find out, click this video.